Hello. Hello, everybody. This is Steve, that Croy Glass Man. Feels like a long time, and it has been, since I've uh, contributed anything to my YouTube channel. And today is going to be a difficult one. I'm going to broach on some subjects that often we don't want to talk about. Some, uh, a couple obvious and one not so obvious. Not a lot of people know I suffer from self-image. <laughs> Ever since I was little, born with synesthesia, always questioning life and people and systems and programs and church and good God and who knows what else, like many of you. Synesthesia offers a crazy world uh, a sensory hearing what you taste taste what you feel uh, many people people have synesthesia in many different ways shows up as uh, many different symptoms but it's a crossing over mixing or blending of senses in my early years it caused a lot of problems but in this lifetime I understand it's been a brutal one I've had many operations I've had many things happen I was metaphorically killed in a head-on car accident on the day of 666. Changed my life profoundly going in that accident and coming out. Um, came out different. You know how they say, get hit by lightning, come out speaking French, and that happened to me. Literally happened. And 13 years from that date of June 6, 2006, true to form, I had to go to the hospital for, an, for a circumstance related to the car accident 13 years ago to the day. You see, I was conceived on the 13th as a honeymoon baby, born on November 13th, both days of Saturday, and died on April 13th in open heart surgery, so to speak. It's been an interesting life based on a lot of different circumstances, but after it's all said and done, I know on some morbid, macabre level, I signed up for this brutal life, and don't ask me why. It doesn't make sense in many ways, but it has to deal with the basis of this video. 2006. Since then, my wife has died. I've lost a son. Um, I've lost a lot of sanity because my logical thinking mind, the rational mind that can numbers and equations and times and appointments, that stuff's evaporating now. I'm finding it challenging to do some of the most simple. So part of this video is I'm reaching out. Help me, please. You'll see why and where this will go. These are some new dichroic smoothies. We sure have made some fun things over the last 20 years. This is now my 20th year of making dichroic components. I've been more impassioned by it today than I've ever been. No point in my life has I, I, have I been this excited about dichro because of the new direction I'm moving. I've done all the stained glass I think I want to do. I've done a lot of stained glass, and uh, I want to reinvent stained glass. That's coming. And I never thought I would be developing a product like this that has to do with the difficulties of my life that some of you can relate to based on a component called forgiveness. My life has been brutal. I chose it. So I'm not crying victim. Who knows what I was thinking when I chose this life? Who knows? Apparently I was gifted with strength and great courage. And a creative element within me that I would not even know until it woke up. After, oh, about four years ago before the open heart surgery. 
I've had so many paradigm shifts, I started writing them down and thus and thus, like some of you, we all, some of us have journals. I've had an opportunity through all these events to really look at myself through all these events and I, I ask God, why do I need to be so injured, God? Why do, it, why do all my body parts have to be cut on, operated on? External, by the way, folks, I have not had what some of you have endured. I've had operations, I've had stitches. Um, I've been told I have over a million dollars worth of physical scars on my body. It's been getting really tough, you all, and that's why I haven't been on. I've been so challenged that I thought I wouldn't be on here making this video. I've had oh, five instances where I thought I would die. Easy five within the last three years since open heart surgery. I'm not a coward. I know you didn't say that. I got up on day nine, drove myself home from the hospital, went to work eight days later. I didn't have anything to prove to anybody but myself that I could persevere this torturous life and do some good. And apparently I've reached a lot of you. Hundreds if not over a thousand people have I talked to. And some of us are still here. You've been championing me along the way as a person that suffers from self-image. I don't do this stuff to brag to you all. It's very hard to put some of these videos up. But if I don't, I feel like I'm cheating. Many of my videos are to sell a product. This is my only avenue of income, is glass. I don't make money on YouTube. It takes three and a half months to get a $100 bill from YouTube. That's not my intentions. I've invested over 20 thousand hours in my YouTube channel for free to have some people lambaste me and squawk and take my ideas and act like they invented them. That's human nature. Come on. Not harboring resentment. In fact, there's been many circumstances I could have done better in our, some of you all's transactions. There's still a couple people stalking me after what, 10 years? 9 years? Um, maybe that's their only intention is to do harm before they leave this world, to somehow right the wrong, I don't know. I will tell you, after my losses, yes, I saw, I saw life differently. Tortured in the outcome that I could have done better all my life. Well, let's say the last 13 years. My life changed on that car accident. I had to learn much of life over again. I went from one hemisphere of thought to the next. It was difficult learning life again, which has been one of the hardest things I've had to do in 13 years. Let alone with the tattoo of the reminder of the samurai on my arm to not fight, to lay down my sword and deal with it. I haven't done so well. Many of you know it, or some of you, and some of you who cannot forgive, after years and years and years will remind me, and others. Please let it go. Contact me. Maybe there's something I can do to make up for it. Because I am going to invite you to another thought. In some cases, Scar tissue is stronger than the original. I believe it. <clears throat> if we've had wounded relationships and we break bread and shake hands, I offered to say that those relationships are stronger when you both have to come together and let go. I would like to say there's no person out there that I couldn't forgive. I would hope you would say the same about me. I could have said things better. I could have shipped things earlier. I could have, could have, should have, would have. 
I got many excuses that I could introduce here. Some pretty darn legitimate. How would you like to be killed in a car wreck? <laughs> the accident report said extreme head trauma. I shattered the windshield from the inside. 2,200 pounds per square inch. I shattered the windshield with my head with seat belts on. Incredible accident. What's this all going to end up to? Because we let's, let's wind this thing up. Let's get into the impact. I could talk days and videos and volumes of the injuries of life, but let's talk about what, we're, what, what I'm holding in my hand and what all this means. In this tube, there's some pretty cool things. The dichro in some cases is so small that it could take an hour to settle a flake. And as you're fixated on perhaps the bigger pieces falling and tumbling, we forget about the little particles, which is a lot about like life is, isn't it? Stop and smell the flowers along the way, as they say. Well, in one of these tubes, starting tomorrow, I'll be putting an offering, ashes. Because the idea is, the stuff that my mother put me through, who's now in stage four, we've never had a relationship per se in our lives. There's nothing I can do about the fact that she doesn't want to live with me or die with me knowing. That's not anything I can do. How I handle it is everything I can do. And I, I'm going to need this tool of forgiveness in my hand, much like you are, once we continue to explore what's going to happen here. I'll be putting ashes and some things in here, starting the next model, because my mother's ashes will be in here. And if there is no mothers for you guys, I can tell you how you can go outside and start a fire and write some things down about your mom, your dad, or this or that, and put them in the fire and let it burn. And tell yourself, this is my act of forgiveness. And take those ashes and scoop them up and put them in. Send them to me. They're sacred. I don't know if they're real or not. It has no bearing to me. Send them to me. We're going to put them in here. Because as I depend on the light to illuminate all this, the same light that's going to illuminate this joy that it brings me, the sparkle, the giddiness, the laughing, the kid in me wants to see these rainbows in the sun like all over. If my mother's ashes are in those, that tube, in your case, your father, and whatever, good, bad, by the way, the father you didn't want to see leave may be in there. And as you hold this up in the light, the same light that illuminates the whole tube will be illuminating the ashes, whether we feel they were good or bad. It's an opportunity to forgive ourselves for even convicting others, to holding them in our own contempt, and for the others who have infracted us. I don't have the opportunity to talk to my mother. She said her goodbyes after my open heart surgery. There's no sense in reinviting myself to a circumstance I was never invited in in the first place. But how many of you have been fighting with similar thoughts? You see, depression wants a solid object to hold. The beanie ba baby, the teddy bear, the curtain cover, the sheet, the whatever it happens to be, the pillowcase of the child that passed or what have you, the loved one. Depression seeks to hold an object. Is this your object? Let's turn off the light. When you see this in person, it's no short of incredible. Watching these particles float down. Meditative? Mm-hmm. Forgiveness? If you think about it. These are the things that I now want to get involved with, and I invite you to collaborate with me if you find value in this. 
You'll know what you can do to add to the experience. I sure thank you. Bye-bye.